Hi, Keith Wood not only spoke for liberty, but has faced criminal prosecution because of it. Veteran libertarians are aware of the role fully informed juries can play on the front lines um, of the conflict between government and the excesses of um, government and the rights of individuals. Wood was sentenced to eight weekends in jail, then six months probation, and a fine by an Isabella County judge. His crime? McCosta County. Handing out Bija pamphlets. That's Fully Informed Jury Association. While on the sidewalk outside the Big Rapids courthouse. The charge was jury tampering. While he was sentenced in 2017, he was initially arrested in 2015. After handing out a pamphlet entitled, Jury Rights, True or False. He was initially charged with jury tampering and, tampering and obstruction of justice because prosecutors um, read that Wood was trying to influence potential jurors before they heard a case against Andy Yoder, an Amish man who was accused of draining a wetland that was on his property. However, Yoder's case never went before a jury, and Wood said he didn't know Yoder. Rather, he said he just wanted to inform potential jurors that they had the right to vote their conscience over the law. The obstruction charges were dropped last March and was tried by a jury of six in June who found him guilty, even though he was simply exercising his right to free expression. The judge deliberately misled the jury to ensure a guilty verdict by barring the defense from mentioning the fact that no jurors were under oath the day Wood was passing out flyers. That unrelated case involving an Amish man in Michigan Department of Environmental Quality never went to trial. In other words, he was convicted of tampering with a jury that didn't even exist. On their website, Fiji asserted that Wood was not discussing any particular case with anyone. Therefore, he was not trying to influence jurors. The case was appealed on February 2nd this year. Macosta County Isabella County District Judge Eric James upheld the travesty. And Mr. Wood, please come up and accept your award. much. I, uh, this is great. I really appreciate it. And I guess since I'm the spokesperson, I have to speak. <laughs> uh, I was telling Adam back there that uh, sometimes I get a little nervous talking to people that I don't know. And so he said, just imagine everybody in their underwear. And then I said, well, I didn't think libertarians wore any underwear. <laughs> 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 Anyways, I just want to say a few, a few words. Um, when, I, when I found out about jury nullification and the actual history of trial by jury, I was fascinated with it, and I was fascinated mainly at some of the, the opinions of people saying that one juror has more power than a hundred sitting judges. And as I began to investigate jury nullification and the fact that we do have the right and the power to judge the law in addition to the facts. Uh, I felt for so many years, you know, the left-right paradigm, I felt so, uh, I just felt so confused because it just bounces from one party to the next and there's no effectual change. And I felt powerless. Well, when I started learning about jury nullification, I said, wow, we actually have power. We can send a message to the government and say, we're not going to go ahead and take this anymore. This is a malicious prosecution. You're misapplying the law or whatever the case is. So uh, I, I didn't go out to win a, an award. I just wanted to educate people on a public sidewalk, which I thought was protected. Uh, maybe not. But uh, anyways, our, our case is in the Michigan Court of Appeals right now, and uh, my, sent my sentence has been stayed, thankfully, for, for the time being. I did only serve about three weekends in jail. 
and it was a good opportunity to talk to people and, and to hear their stories as well. So uh, I really appreciate the nomination and the award. Thank you so much. Thank you to YouTube for hosting this video and for being an essential part of human progress by making video hosting available worldwide to everyone on the internet. However, the next phase in human progress is here with Steemit.com and their video hosting alternative blockchain-based solutions, including DTube. And you can find that through Steemit.com as well as my own page there, at Adam Kokesh. This is a decentralized blockchain-based social media network that pays you fairly for your content. Already, I'm regularly making more there with a single post than I do from an entire month on YouTube. So please join us on the next frontier of the information revolution at steamit.com. And if you want help getting a leg up there, I'm happy to re-steam your posts and make sure that no one is starting from scratch. Just email me one of your favorite posts at adam at thefreedomline.com and we'll share it on my feed.